Are chronic staffing shortages threatening the safety of veterans? Well, tonight, nurses at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA say that is exactly what is happening. They say nearly every unit at the hospital is short staffed. Surgeries have been paused. Available beds have been cut. And units are forced to care for too many patients, putting patients and nurses at risk. Your reporter Gabriela Vidal joins us live from outside that hospital tonight. And Gabby, these Colorado nurses join a national effort to protest the VA's hiring freeze. Yeah, that's right, Karen, and it was right here on this very same street just across from the VA center where these nurses were rallying alongside others nationally, and they wanted to shine a light on the challenges that they face right now serving that veteran population while also at the same time facing some of these ongoing staffing challenges. We are the veterans. What could be greater than our veterans? They're funny, they're kind, they're forgiving. <laughs> They think that we know best even when we don't, but most of all, they trust us. A trust that nurses at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center say they're pushing to protect in the wake of what they say has been an ongoing hiring freeze from nationwide budget cuts. We have 57 open vacancies that are frontline, um, which which that basically entails the ICU, med surge, um, the OR, are some of our surgical areas as far as the outpatient surgeries and um, SCI and our mental health area. Frontline, like Jordan LeBlanc's nursing role in the ICU. Others like him have now taken on more patients and sometimes work more hours to support the veteran population. Our ICU specifically has been staffed at less than 85% of its its functional capacity. And right now we're at 18 bed ICU, but only 12 of the beds are open. So they've closed six beds because of staffing levels. The USVA press secretary responded to nurses rallying across the country, saying there is no freeze on hiring nurses and are continuing to do so as needed across the country. Quote, partly as a result of these hiring efforts and our great nurses, VA is currently delivering more care to more veterans than ever before. But for nurses here. I haven't seen most of those hires come to the bedside. And nurses here at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center say that they also worry that with the less staffing available here, that the VA services will become more privatized because with less staffing here, that means less beds to open up, which means some of these VA services may be uh, outsourced to other community uh, services, which may not always be the best case for certain veterans. In Aurora, Gabriella Vidal covering Call to First. Hey, Gabby, one story we will certainly follow up on. Thank you.